Hello. 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 I'm Michael Bell. I come in peace. And I'm James Jones. Fancy that. So, Mike. Yes, James. What have you been doing for the last 27 years? Mainly travelling on trains. Okay. And I thought today, through my experience of travelling on, on the Great British Rail Lines, I would tell you what places are famous for. Okay. Cliff. Naughty. Now this is impossible to pronounce. In fact the locals have actually made it in the challenge. If a, local, if a visitor can pronounce it correctly in five times, five tries, they get a casserole. Interesting stuff. I think it's beef. Cambridge. Did you know there they still practice hangings? Did you know in Birmingham, on a leap year, it rains marshmallows? In Manchester, they make fabulous bottle cocktails. Call me one. In Cornwall, it is required by law to own at least two umbrellas. Did you know what? Uh -huh. that, that to improve the tourism industry in Nuneaton, it is now compulsory for all drinks to be served in coconuts. Wow! In Newcastle, the town mayor was elected in dubious circumstances. Naughty Newcastle. In Corby, 40 people die every year whilst attempting to fly. In Grimsby, up north, took no, but scared of that place. Eh? They still believe that tie-dye is going to make a comeback, so nobody's run out of any of their 90s clothing. Let it go. Let it go. Leviton Spa has superb sewer sponges. So nom, 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 nom. In Dublin, you're only allowed to eat cheese between 10 and 3. Did you know that in Twickenham, rugby is traditionally played as a means of getting the men out of the house? Just get under their wife's feet. It's a little sexy. Oh, man. Bloody men. Did you know that Southampton is the biggest buyer of talcum powder in the UK? No, I did not. It's because I made it up. <laughs> in Oxford, they've just passed a ruling where when the waiter says the dessert is spotted dick, you have to laugh. But in Aberdeen, there's a special tax allowance so that everyone over the age of 12 can have a woolly hat. That's pretty nice. A Scottish independence for you. Mavericks. In Bradford, they make an excellent cocoa van. Unfortunately, their spelling lets them know. During the noughties, all of EU butter mountains were sent to Penrith. The locals are now just bored of fairy cakes and toast. In Bournemouth, visitors are presented with party rings on arrival. Party town! I like party rings. Yeah. Alright. No, I really like For a jaffa cake. Oh. One's a biscuit, one's a cake. You can have both. In Trumpington, Keith from the office has put the Christmas lights on for four years running. He's never been asked once. Just patrols the streets. In Exeter, Cagoules are considered legal tender. However, like using Scottish money in Staffordshire, good fucking luck trying to spend it. Did you know that St Albans has the largest exhibitionist group in the UK? Interesting fact there, Josh. In Swatham, all farmers get free haircuts at Tony and Guy. You really, really, boy? Right, they already do. So, near it, we're actually lacking evidence this place exists. I don't know what it is. For our Scottish viewers, here's another fact about your country. country. In Inverness, the men folk are all greying because the feminist movement banned all just for men products. From Scotland to the south, Tewkesbury has hosted more episodes of Bargain Hunt than anywhere else in the country. The locals now just consider it a nuisance and they've run out of handkerchiefs for Tim. I don't know Tim. Well, quit your job. Watch Bargain Hunt, it's great. But did you know? No, I didn't. But Gordon Ramsay's mother in law lives in Welling Garden City. Well, I do now. However, she's annoyed her neighbours by the Never stop banging on about the time that you bought an Flash, Bastard. He never bought me a jacuzzi. Ramsey. Ramsey. Why did you never buy me a jacuzzi? <laughs> did you know that in Bury St Edmunds, it's not the cabbage? It wasn't the fact I was going to say. Okay. In Bury St Edmunds, their light drawing class is so popular that they've run out of models and now they just have to use the girls from Babe Station. Horny she devils. I don't think Australia made that up, I'm calling bullshit on that. You know, in Blackpool, everything's two for one on a Wednesday. Not just cinema tickets with orange. In Kent, you know, down south, I've heard of it. They actually christen every child's middle name to be Gary. Just by myself. Every child. Just by myself. Mm -hmm. The band, in excess, once owned a property in Swindon, which they let out during tours. Truly, they were kings of men. Truly, they were landlords. <laughs> Done now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.
Mantap banget. <laughs>